What's up guys, it's your boy Godzilla my here and welcome back to another video where today guys I saw the Godzilla minus one TV spot last night and oh my god it looked absolutely amazing and it was sick honestly when I looked here I was thinking oh there's a couple of, couple of Shin Godzilla references due to the buildings like the buildings being damaged Actually, it looks similar. It actually looks similar to the buildings from the Shin Godzilla movie. But well, it's it. It's just like when Godzilla Minus One was walking, you could see the by the destruction on the building. Well, no. Now, let's just say there was a couple of references of Shin Godz uh, against Shin Godzilla and Godzilla Minus One. So, I've got some theories for myself and my opinions about Sh about Godzilla minus one and I actually want to show it to you all so let's do it so one is the tail so when I looked at the tail you got this one which is the Shin Godzilla tail and this one as the Godzilla minus one tail and they both got the exact same head but Shin Godzilla is different and Godzilla minus one's tail is actually like Looking like a little tiny head. It's smaller because the shingles on his tail's head is actually bigger. It's like the size of your hand. Maybe when you hold it, it'll be like this. And when you hold it, it'll be like this. Like you're holding a big cylinder, but clearly it's a tail with a skull on it. And it looks amazing on it. I like, I like the graphic designs on the back of the 2016 film of Shin Godzilla because Shin Godzilla had the ability to evolve, so he would evolve and he could regenerate. Now, there's another theory. Is Godzilla minus one going to regenerate and gain energy when he rests like Shin Godzilla? Is that going to happen? I don't really know. Because the reason why I'm saying that is because because Godzilla minus one is a whole new Godzilla. Could be a form five, but it depends. But if this is actually a brand new Godzilla, we don't know if this is a new Godzilla or not. So is it a new Godzilla? Yes. Or no. Now I don't know if Godzilla minus one is going to be a whole new Godzilla. So it actually might be, because if you look at the auto blades, Similar to Godzilla Millennium's control sort of place. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about the theories, what we think in this. So, when he walks, when Shin Godzilla walks, you can see his tail moving around. Because his tail is really long. And compared to Godzilla Minus One, his tail seems to be like the same length as Shin. But I don't think it can go right up to, like, to the top of his head. It might or we might not but we're going to wait and see what is going to happen in the Godzilla minus one film when it comes out on IMAX for DX in December in America so hopefully I'll come to the UK and get the, I'll get the DVD and watch it and I'll talk about my opinions about the film and what I liked about it so um and I'm also hoping to get the Godzilla minus one figure which is a SH Monster Arts, but I might get a normal figure. I hope you might do a series on it. You never know. So, yes, guys, this is going to be it for the video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe, hit the bells and notifications so you don't miss another video. Comment down below of what you think of the Godzilla, about his design and all that. What you thought about his theories and all that. If you guys think this is actually going to be true, we might actually see him evolve bigger. We don't know yet. So, yes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out. Bye. Godzilla. Minus one.